All right, guys, as you can tell, we've transitioned back outdoors for event six, which is the softball challenge. Now, the rules for this challenge are pretty simple. Each athlete is going to get six pitches. They're going to be awarded one point for each pitch that they get to bat into play. Um, so the scores will be a total of points of balls batted into play, and we're going to get to see how the athletes line up and shake out against one another. L. This should be in a nice L position. Yeah. And this is going to be in a nice V position. And you're going to step and swing. So you're going to yeah. you're going to watch the ball. Your left. And you yeah. just you just want to see the, it hit the bat. Watch the, see the back one, and you're going to step. Your hair? Yeah. So you're going to step. And this is how I learn. Squish the bug. Okay. So you're going to step, and you're going to squish the back foot. And think about staying like same athletic stance, yeah. so nice tight legs here. You don't even here. have to step if you're not comfortable with like it. Okay. That? It's all. But, you, but you're going to extend. So you want to make contact with the ball here, mm -hmm. and then this is just a follow through. Okay. Okay. I'm scared. I'm scared. You're scared. And what are you scared of? I'm I'm just scared because they're athletes, <laughs> and they can, they they'll catch on. Yeah. I feel like. Okay. Step. No, no, no. Don't wind up with your body. Okay. Take it. No, no. Take a step with your left foot, and then turn your hip. On your foot. Bring that. Bring your toe. Up. Oh, this one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just do that a bunch. Just step and turn. Okay. You actually know it. Does it always look like? I wouldn't know. I guess. Fat. <laughs> I feel like these are fucking me up. Oh, we were wearing the helmet? Yeah, it makes it more official. Alright. Let's go. Yeah, I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose, won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shit tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter. Big picture, I'm a straight killer. Rass in the song to the highest bidder. Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast. New shoes, new tracks, like who's that? I'm new, come back better than last. Yeah, it's a new me, never gonna look back. You never gonna look back. Cause damn, I was built to last. You move slow when I move fast, and that's facts. Only I can make a change. Slowly take a step today. I will never be the same. Cause that's what it takes. Three out of six? And a home run? Yeah. You don't, you don't oh, need... Oh, you gotta wear a fucking helmet. You might need the small one. Oh yeah, a small head. I need the big one. Well done, bro. So, uh... Um, yeah. I, I, I when she first pitched it and I was to the swing, I could tell because like, This is I, not... That one's too tight? I, in my like, best like, interest. No, I'm talking about the sport. Like, oh. a... Brooke, I forgot everything you told me. Already. Don't stand, Don't stand on the plate. <laughs> hey, Where do I stand? This box? Yeah. Right here? Yeah, right here. Right All right. In the box. Can you just like try and work with me here? Because I'm not good.
it, people. <laughs> That's all right because I lift the weights. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> God, is it as scary? It's horrible. Oh. Here we have Maddie Rogers stepping into the box. Okay. I feel like you're gonna just crank one though. If I can hit one, I'll be so pumped. <laughs> <laughs> so pumped. Looking at it, you kind of it looks like you keep your eyes on it. Okay. Three. Close, just a little low. Two of them, maybe, but apparently not. I feel like Do you I want can't this one? See, it's like a new feature to. I remember my dad got a thing at one point. You want this guy? It's so weird to have a face mask. <sighs> All right. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off and get lost I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running out, never heading south I'll be spreading out, call it word of mouth, can't put me down, I'll be getting loud You can have me doubts, not what I'm about, have your f***ing cloud, it be raining now I keep making sound, go another round, bitch I'm legend bound, can't stop me now you don't wanna fuck with me A slow burn like a disease Just tell me that I can and I'll show you things That you couldn't believe Just tell me that I can Just tell me that I can Two, two for six I shouldn't have swung at that last one, that was inside Brooke, you went three for six and you had a walk-off home run. Mm -hmm. How did the softball thing play out in your mind? Like, were you nervous? Were you scared? To, like, tell us all about it. Petrified. So I played <laughs> softball all growing up. But I have thrown my shoulder out playing softball and swinging a golf club. So I have, like, very loose ligaments in my left shoulder. And I was terrified of doing that because in a very uh, intense, like, fast motion where there's not a lot of muscles engaging mm -hmm. I guess right to protect an area for me that is can be a problem um, scared me guys after six events Brooke is our overall leader we are not done yet okay oh. we still got we still got two events we're going forward into now a, a soccer challenge we're gonna take some shots on goal it's gonna be timed how do you feel about that I have I have no expectations okay <laughs> last time I played soccer I was probably like six years old Nice. <laughs> so. Nice. Well, we'll get to see. It's kind of still in your wheelhouse. There's a little bit of duress. There's going to be a time involvement. You're going to need to move fast. I like your odds. I feel like I've got good odds. Good. Yeah, good. I feel I'm, I'm playing to win. As you should. Listen, we're getting to this point in these two days where these ladies are starting to become a little catty, right? <laughs> You're starting to see the real competitor come out inside of them, which is a beautiful thing. That's why we showed up to do this in the first place. But they're all being great sports. We got two events to go. Let's see how they shake out. All right, guys, we're back out in the Louisiana sunshine for event seven. It is 70 degrees, and now it is time to test hand and foot coordination. So we're on a soccer field, and essentially the event is going to test the girl's ability to be under duress and show accuracy. Can they get that ball in the goal and in a certain amount of time um, and clearly from different locations? 
I believe this event is again a lot like the softball challenge, pretty much a wild card, but as I did mention previously, Dana Lynn Bailey admittedly has grown up playing soccer, played it all the way through college, uh, so I feel like she might have an innate advantage in this event. But again, as you guys have seen through the two days of testing, these ladies are notoriously shocking us. So the events could be skewed, they could go in the way that we predict, but you never really know what we're in store for. So let's tune in and see who is the queen of the soccer field. If I were to hit this ball, I would want to land on the leg that I was like kicking it with. But uh, for accuracy, inside your foot's probably the best way to go. Um, I guess power in this drill isn't really necessary, but um, I mean, I guess you can kick it as hard as you want. But <laughs> just want to say, we'll go out there and, our, and try our best. Hey, but soccer player right here. Yeah, yeah, me oh, too. Are you no, both I was your too. soccer players? When I was like six. Yeah. I've never Again, this is uh, my life. Take 15 years ago. That's when <laughs> I played. It, you still Everything <laughs> you lose it all once you stop playing. Yeah, yeah. If you don't use it, How you far? lose well, it. Actually, yeah, 15 That's true. years ago. How aggressive is this goalie goalieing? No, we're I don't not. There's think we have a goalie. What's got to make it that yeah, way? But there's gonna be so many balls, and it's like 30 seconds to get as many can. Oh. 15 seconds, three oh. balls. That's what it is. Oh, 15 one. seconds, three balls. Where's oh, the, that's fast. Two. In three, two, one, go! For one, before Bird fast approach to ball number two. Looks good. And it is good. Ball three. Ah. Bar left. She finished that in about Much 11 seconds that even. <laughs> My muscles are just too big. <laughs> <laughs> two, one, go! For one, she's starting off strong. Approaching ball two. Smoked it, two for two. Lined it up. And an amazing three for three at the 12 second mark. She smoked go. it. God, I, I would have been embarrassed if I missed any. My coach would be so mad at me. It's been like 15 some years, but he should be able to kick it in a goal. First down goal, Maddie Rogers. One for one. Smooth and composed. Five second mark. One for two. She takes a far approach back. Ball three, and it's good. She's two for three. Got it in under the time range. It's a strong Didn't score. Feel round one. Um, sort of. I still like that's like what n nine balls I've kicked in my whole life. Okay, yeah. not so bad. Oh. <laughs> That was awesome. I should have played soccer, right? That was five. Little did you know, soccer athlete her whole life. <laughs> Zero for one. Takes more time here on the 10-2, lines it up. Knocks it through, knocks it through. One for two. Three, two, ball three. And it's good, smoking like a pro. <laughs> Under the time range and she was two for three on round one. Way better. How feel? Oh, good. I mean, I was kind of lucky on those ones that we had the win. Far right on that attempt here. Ball five. And it's good. Oh! oh! Matty Forberg finishes two for six. Two for six. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was your second round already? Yeah. yeah. Oh. That's, I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you apologizing for what I did? <laughs> no, I was no. I'm sorry. I thought that was I'm your sorry. first round, and I was like, how did you get six out of that? <laughs> I gotta go. Shot four, and she's money in the bank. Five from the center. Cooked it. She's five for five. Shot six. Six for six. Six for six. I would, if I missed any, I would be very, I would be very angry. <laughs> <laughs> Go for one. Line it up. Oh, a little far left on that one. Two, one. And by the skin of her teeth, shot three, far right. Oh. I don't know what happened. Maddie finishes also two for six. Ah. 
Can we count my practice rounds? Shot one, a little left. Look at two for three in round one. Got it. From the center. All right, guys, we just wrapped up event seven. We are getting close to the finale of this two-day event um, called the Brute Showdown. Now, we just finished the soccer challenge, girl. That's right. You, you shared a little bit that you got a background in soccer. Six for six. You dominated friend. this. I was actually scared I was going to miss one. Really? I would have been super upset and embarrassed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I played college soccer, so it's not, it, but 15 years ago, so. Hey, that's all right. But then look, it comes back. My first, my practice rounds were not okay. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can vouch she was not happy with even the practice <laughs> round. I was okay. like, man, she got some high expectations. I think she maybe missed one that I saw, I swear. But she was like, I'm not happy about that. Oh. What do you think about event eight? Uh, no, wait, is that the eating? This is going to be the eating. I'm not good at eating. I can eat fast, though, but okay. I wish I liked watermelon a little bit more than I do. Got it. Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't even really like cantaloupe. Be all over that. Mm. But you can't eat as much cantaloupe. Ladies and gentlemen, event eight has come down to this, and it is a watermelon. The women are going to have a seat and consume these watermelons. There are four, one for each of them. They're gonna consume them for time. The winner will be awarded based on the fastest time to consume the entirety of this watermelon. Now clearly, the outside does not need to be consumed. These, each of these watermelons will be cut into quarters previously, and they are seedless. So their job is to go to work and consume these things. What better way to cap off a two-day competition than to make sure that you're as hydrated as possible? Let's see who can take the crown. It's good for your bones. <laughs> Dana's like, like psh, psh. <laughs> what is there a is there a method to doing this? I mean, I feel like you got sure they should you be gotta spread your legs open. Um, yeah. so that's we, what I'm gonna do. Right? Gonna judge this thing. Like this one's a big <sighs> fat. Yeah, one. mine's yeah. cut weird too, like no, that. Mine are weird. We just gotta make sure we know what they, you know. And make sure you keep your pieces by you. Yep. What yeah, is this one? one? That you have to eat that. that. One. I want yeah, this one. That one looks too bad. Can I have that one? Yes, I'm the y'all. You get that one. Yeah. Yeah. No, one. No, that one's tiny. Wait, so you I would move that one somewhere. Oh. Or they're going to get juices. No. I think mine are huge. Yeah. All right, watermelon's down. Athletes, no. stand by. Yeah. Watermelon down. It was off the table, bro. When was that a rule? That's a rule. Did you learn manners? Two, one, go. Get him, Maddie! Get him, Maddie! Different methods come into play here. What strategy is best? Oh my goodness! Get him, Maddie! Get him, Maddie! Got it. I was worried for a second. She's good to go. I thought we were going to see you go. No big bite. 100%. There's a lot of watermelon. We're a quarter of the way there. Quarter of the way there, quarter of the way there. <laughs> 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 oh, I go deep. <laughs> 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 what? Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Is that done? It looks no, done. that's not even. This one done? One minute down. Okay. Well, you, got, you got a minute, go. Yeah, let's close, move on. Close, close. Close. We're watching turf. That looks yeah, like close, a piece of volume. We're doing both. <laughs> 45 seconds left. <laughs> 45 seconds. Five. 
One. Watermelon's down! You can chew! You can chew and complete the, the piece that is in your mouth! No more watermelon consumption I'll is left. I picked my biggest yeah, one to go first. That was the worst decision. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go four. Got it. One point. <coughs> you can see the rind. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I was scraping my teeth on that thing. I'm really trying to you clean it out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You're just talking shit. What is that? I'm somewhere uh, between these two is a tie. I feel like this is the cleanest. Hey, it's on my pants. I appreciate the hustle. <laughs> appreciate the hustle. Appreciate. Dana, appreciate, we need to wash these. Appreciate Sorry. the hustle. Yeah, I was real juicy. Oh, 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 thank you. I know the I'm actually, actually, I'm actually a little oh, allergic yeah. to watermelon. Yeah. They're yours. Makes my throat itch really bad. I didn't have all right, guys, we just concluded event eight, the finale, which was our watermelon challenge. These ladies had two minutes to consume as much watermelon as possible. Brooke Ince is our winner. What was your strategy? Yeah. Uh, I wasn't really sure how to get started, you know, so I started taking some bites, and then I remembered the hook and drag, which uh, George Sanchez actually put into play at the CrossFit Games. I hooked my teeth in and just dragged it all the way down. I like it worked it. for me. It yeah. worked well. It worked well. Um, you guys were all cracking up at the start of this event. Like, what was what was the atmosphere like? You got to talk about that a little bit. Uh, some of us didn't really care to do it that much. Didn't want to get super messy. Uh, and then once we were in it, it was like we were gonna have a good time. Yep. I'll be honest. I was kind of keeping an eye on Dana. <laughs> 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 and uh, it was it was kind of like I wanted to go as hard as everyone else sure. right yep. and when i really felt that she was not messing around i was just <laughs> cleaning it you went in there you got after it got it yes. i love it i love it yeah and i am like really sticky and i'm also slightly allergic to watermelon so my throat is really itchy oh that's good. but yeah i'll be i'm gonna live it's not gonna like close off or anything but what will you do you know got it Guys, make sure you got the meds ready in the back for Brooke. Uh, <laughs> she's going to start yeah, Epi Pen ready Epi -pen. on deck. All right, guys, that's it. That's our conclusion to event eight. We are going to bring you live to a score breakdown after this, and we're going to talk about what we saw all weekend. Congratulations, yep. Brooke. You Thank crushed you. it. All right, guys, we have made it. We have concluded our eight events in the Brute Showdown, and on top, we have the Brooke Entz. Now the standings were, Brooke Entz finished with a total of 27 points. Dana Lynn Bailey finished with a total of 22 points. Maddie Rogers finished with a total of 16 points. And then Maddie Forsberg finished with a total of 12 points. Now, it was quite the test. It, it was, was two days. I mean, it was a lot of work structured in a short amount of time. Tell me what your overall feels are, the experience. Like, are you so pumped to be the champ? I am pumped because I, 100% did not see that happening at all. I saw myself winning the CrossFit event, having some fun on day two with all the sports stuff because I'm an athlete, uh, but I didn't, I didn't see this happening. I, but, I, but I also wasn't going to not try to win. But I was not. coming to have a good time. I was coming to try new things, and I was coming to meet new friends and hang out with everybody. So well, I'm very all. pumped. Also, uh, just want to let Jacob Hepner know, I got you. You couldn't do it. I could do it. Ha! <laughs> Shout out to Jacob Hebner. Brooke's calling you out, man. And she is referencing hey, one last brute year's... To another brute, okay? Hey, I like it. I like it. You're you you tipping your hat in a way, but also saying, up your athletic game, Jacob? Is that, is that kind of... Uh, you know, Jacob, I am a, I'm a little bit... I feel like you're very athletic. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe you got to bring the heat on the pose off. Maybe that's where it was lost. Uh -huh. Could have been the pose off, the ball sports. It's, it's hard to gauge. Uh, ball sports. Probably she, ball sports. She is referencing last year's version of the Brute Showdown, which embodied the male competitors. Same categories. They threw it down. Uh, Luis, our Olympic lifter, was the one that was able to take the crown. But this year, the CrossFitter wears the crown for the females. So Brooke Entz, the champ. That concludes the Brute Showdown. Thanks for joining us. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. Um, 
I really enjoy learning new sports and things and, and trying things like I wish we had another day so we could go back and practice like the kicking and the softball hitting because that's just stuff that's it's fun to do because we don't get to do it all the time. So I think the the power events I was obviously a little bit better at just because I have experience with that um, and I think the other girls showed their experiences in the other events and that really helped them as well. Oh yeah we were all friends by the end of it. I think like pretty much right away we all got along well. Um, and then we just got closer throughout the weekend. My takeaway to anyone watching is that you can work hard and find something that you love that is worthwhile for so many years and you can make a lot of friends doing it and there's so many ways to grow as a human being from trying different things. I just, I'm here to have fun. I don't think I'm the best at everything, uh, but I like to learn a lot of different things. So I was more excited for this day, which was like more sports and stuff, so that's my background is sports, and then I got into bodybuilding after sports, so that's what I like. But it's a we have like a great little group of four here. Um, I knew Brooke prior to this, like we're the same person. I feel like we're sisters. <laughs> and then uh, this was like, <laughs> yep, that's right. <laughs> and then uh, I met Maddie and Maddie, Maddie T, Maddie D. I feel like I met you before, but I can't remember. But this is like the official time, but we like instantly clicked. So no matter what, we were there, we were cheering for each other. We had PRs yesterday, which was really cool. And we were all there for each other, like helping each other out. Everyone had their skill that they were good at. So they would be there to give tips and try to help you out as best they can. So it was fun, good experience. Uh, Takeaway for me for this weekend, I made two new friends and became even better friends with another one of the girls. And um, honestly, when I found out the boys were getting to do an event like this, I was kind of ticked about it. I was pretty, I was pretty mad. Just cause I, this is, this is a, I love crossing over into new sports. And I think that that's what needs to happen way more often, especially in all these different, like these very closely related uh, fitness sports, like powerlifting, Olympic lifting, CrossFit, bodybuilding. We all do so much. We all, it's very comparable with like mindset and what it takes to like prepare for a competition. Yet there's so much, you know, I guess like cattiness around the idea that you can't, you can't cross over into that sport. However, I do feel like more of that is being portrayed through social media and kind of on the outside but unfortunately that is the conversation that then is being you know, communicated to people that maybe haven't been introduced to any of those sports. So something like this has given a really great opportunity to bring a lot of different females that are very powerful, strong, not only mentally and physically, but together where we can try new sports, feel comfortable trying new things, feel comfortable failing at new things with one another. And I think that is going to, you know, that is going to, com what's the word? translate, that will translate really well to other women and men that you know maybe want to try new things or are a little bit intimidated by it. For them to be able to see us laugh, fail, and try, and still be able to move on to the next event and have a good time um, will be very powerful for a lot, of, a lot of people and for sure a lot of kids. All right, guys, so we wanted to finish by giving a shout out to Red Stick CrossFit and Traction for hosting both facilities where the ladies came out and got to throw down. We also want to thank each and every one of the competitors that took time from their busy, busy schedules and lives to come throw down, represent on camera, and also be great examples uh, from each one of their specialty communities. Hopefully you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.